Hello boys and girls, welcome to another installment of my white water guide for France. The Boom is a right tributary that flows into the Ardèche just below Rum. It, in its course it presents various difficulties. Today we look at the middle boom from the confluence with the Drobi to Rossier. There are two ways to get started. Above the village of Desailleux, or two kilometers before the Drobi flows into the boom. We have chosen the second option here. This section requires some water, so it will only have a sufficient level until the end of April or perhaps till mid-May. I estimated the flow at the confluence at 5 cubic meters per second for the Drobi and 3 for the bomb. As long as the riverbed is not too wide, this is a sufficient water level. It can only get bony where it goes over wide gravel banks. This is also the character of the creek. More or less steep surges and cataracts alternate with quieter passages. Due to the width, some passages may be winding and due to the time of year, you should also be prepared for wooden obstacles. Half, the road practically always runs next to the river. As it moves away, the riverbed also changes. From here on, it's characterized by gravel banks and no longer by cataracts that are defined by rocks. About 500 meters after the road leaves the river, a low road bridge without railings crosses the boom. It is built on rock slabs, which leads to one last interesting cataract. We had a passage on the right with rock at the bottom middle. There is also a route on the left that had just enough water. In the town of Chaillers, a narrow footbridge crosses the entire river. After you 
you have crossed under the main road, you have to pay attention again. What follows is the weir in Rossier, which must be portaged on the right. The weir crown itself is at the upper end of a stone labyrinth through which the water has dark channels. The various islands are connected by iron beams and many of the islands are undercut and siphoned. It may be possible to go over the top of the weir itself on the right, but you have to get out of the boat before the water pulls you into one of the openings that are impermeable for kayakers. is a little later on the left side. If there is enough excess energy you can continue on the lower bow. You can find additional information down in the description. If you found this guide helpful, please consider leaving a like and if you don't want to miss the next video, hit the subscribe button. Until then, goodbye!